Jesus, I was, I was working like 16 to 18 hours a day, every single day, posting five times a day on every single platform for two and a half years now. Like two and a half years. And it wasn't until a year and a half in that anyone else was brought on board to do it for me or with me. And even still, they don't post anything. They don't respond to a single message, a single DM. They don't, like, I'm posting that stuff. What, what do you think is that fine line between um, entrepreneurs out there uh, going for apps like that? Mm -hmm. The fine line between that and actually hiring a, a videographer um, for their business. So I think there's this like threshold to where you, know, you have to get to where you are absolutely just to the max on what you can do. But that being said, like for a, a busy you know, entrepreneur that has a lot of things going on, and that doesn't enjoy that. That's the thing, like I enjoy that stuff. So for me, like the two to four hours a day I spend on social media stuff, yeah, like I, I classify it as work, but it doesn't feel like work because I enjoy it. But if you're a business owner, an entrepreneur, an influencer, or if you're a you know, keynote speaker, or if you're someone that's you know building a brand and you don't enjoy that stuff, then by all means, like that's what, that's that's the whole idea of hustle and efficiency is is doing the focusing the most attention on the things that you actually enjoy doing um so if you just absolutely hate that stuff then by all means like it's not about your capacity it's about like not doing the stuff you hate um so definitely bring somebody on um and if the quality of the stuff you're putting out is terrible then there's a level of self-awareness to understand number one do i enjoy it number two is the stuff that i'm putting out like is it is it high quality and um, getting some honest feedback from people that you actually trust not just the people that love you because they're typically gonna lie uh, they're like oh yeah it's great maybe it's not great and maybe you do need help you know from somebody um, but some of the best content as far as like engagement is some of the least produced the least edited yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, but I think it takes a combination of both for that to happen. Yeah. It's just people get accustomed to a certain way, and then when they see something different, they're like, oh, that's different. Let me check that out. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you need, and that's where stories are so important. Instagram stories are so important because you, know, you have the more published, pr produced, edited stuff in your timeline or on your uh, profile. But then Instagram stories is more of like the just holding your phone up, kind of the behind the curtain. Uh, fly on the wall, kind of being able to experience it in real time, um, which is really, really important. Like that's where people really get to know you. But yeah, I think it's just figuring out, you know, with self-awareness, like what am I good at? Do I enjoy doing this? And the things that you're not good at and that you don't enjoy doing, definitely bring out somebody to do that for you because it needs to get done.